Hi everybody, welcome to A House of Stitch and Stash. My name is Rika and today's date is August 1st. Wow, we are almost done with summer. Um, it's been a busy July in our household. We moved from Pennsylvania to Oklahoma. Um, I am currently sitting in my future stitchy room right now. I have boxes to my right and just jump to my left. So we're gonna try to keep everything in this little box. Um, my computer is still in a box. Um, I am gonna try to organize the office downstairs so that I can actually edit picture, uh, pictures and edit videos. Right now um, I'm recording this on my iPad so um, I don't think the quality was bad the last time. But anyway, I wanted to pop in here um, to just update you guys on what I've been working on in the month of July as well as um, announce the winner of my um, Mirabilia pattern giveaway. Um, I know that the deadline was two days ago. Unfortunately, because we've been busy, I have not um, been able to come in here and share with you guys the winner. So, um, but we're gonna we're gonna determine the winner all of us together at once. So, um, what have I been working on? I guess we can get started with my current whips. Um, I have had a case of liking to start a bunch of stuff, so um, I wanted to start on something Christmassy. And um, I bought, I showed you guys, I think two videos ago, I showed you guys the um, little little cottage needleworks. I think, <laughs> I'm really bad, I swear. I even wrote notes, but still I saw. So this is my progress on the um, barn yard, red barn, the barn, I don't even know. The problem is I do a working copy of these and then I just forget what the title is for each. But um, it's pretty much almost done. It's just missing a bit of like the snowflake on this side as well as the color for the snowflake here and right here by where the um, roof is. And that's because I don't have the color. I order it though. Um, oh, <laughs> there's a donut. There's a donut and there's a ice cream for my needle minders. Um, so yeah, so that is how it looks like. I also started using the trolley needles to help me lay out my white stitches because for some reason, working with white thread, I just can't, like it just looks like crap to me. My stitches never look even, uh, but it's only for, for white thread. So I used it on there and I think did a pretty good job keeping it all together um, and laying it flat. Um, okay, so then, um, what are you gonna say? So then I also work a little bit on my Mirabilia, the garden party. So um, I kind of stopped working on the arm a little bit because I actually made a mistake on this and I don't know how to fix it. So I think once, once I, I think once I do this, I think it'll be okay. I don't think people would even know that I made a mistake, but I would know. But um, so I'm on this part right here. There's a lot of confetti and it's making me bored. So um, yeah, I think I stitched on it two days ago and I haven't stitched on it since only because Oops, oh, my, my, but I'm sitting on this metal and I had my, the magnets on it so it's like attaching it itself. So yeah, so that's how it looks like. And then I added on my uh, Halloween, if this is what, this one is the, what is it called? Phraseworthy stitches, Black Widow's BND. So I had the cat, I finished the cat. I really wanna finish this part of the roof today. So we'll see how it looks like, I have a llama. And then, you see this growing guard right here? I actually made it. I can't believe I made it. 
Um, there's a lot of like, this is my very first one I ever sew. So we'll see if I could repeat it, but I basically used Christine from um, Stitch All The Things tutorial. She has an excellent tutorial. I mean, she is like on point with um, how to make sure your measurements are correct. Um, but anyway, just watch hers. Um, I will try to link it down below. But yeah, so I got the fabric from Joann's. Um, and then I went crazy and got even more fabric from Joann's. Um, anyway, and um, yeah, I spent too much money. But so the reason why I also wanted to pop in here real quick is because I wanted to share this thing that I just got done probably 10 minutes ago. I'm that excited that I feel like I need to share this because it's just, I can't believe I made this. I can't like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just made, I just made a bag. So something to go with my grime guard. So this is an 11 by 17 um, Q-snap. I wanted to go ahead and have the coordinating project bags. So yes, oh my gosh. So I got the fabric from Joanne. I followed Christine from Calico. And then I think her Instagram handle is Calico, Calico underscore Whimsy. But she has an awesome tutorial on how to sew your own project bag. I mean, let me tell you people. When I say I don't sew, I, that is not an exaggeration. Like I was like, hmm, I'm just, you know, just, Tutorials seem very detailed, so I'm like, I think I can follow, if I just follow hers, I think it will be great. But um, I just don't know how to use my machine, so I broke a needle. I had to go and get and buy a new one this morning. Um, and yeah, so, but it's done. Um, I think I'm just missing like a charm, so I'm gonna go and make one or get one. But yeah, it's like, I can't believe it. So I have all of my floss in here, which um, I'm actually going to be sharing here shortly, um, and the pattern. So um, I have, I bought even more fabric yesterday at Joann's because I was like determined, hopefully that I could do one. And I'm glad that I was able to do one or I would have been stuck with all this fabric. So let me share with you guys. That's our bed. Um, so I bought patriotic um, fabric, and because I wanted to do project by accident, so I was just picking coordinating um, fabric together. So I think this is going to be the outer part, and then I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to use for um, the lining and all that stuff. So I bought that, and then for Christmas, because I wanted to use it for my project bag for that one series I'm doing, I bought these, um, like really farmsy looking things. I like the way it looks. And then um, I also bought these. Where's the other one? The other fabric is over there, but it's navy. But these are on sale for like three dollars a yard so um this is gonna be like summer ones or probably for my garden party um project bag so yeah i was like oh my gosh i just made a project bag but that is like the biggest thing i had to do in the last two days um aside from organizing my house and putting things where it should be and it's just a pain. Moving is a pain in the bum. And we're gonna have to do this again in two years. So anyway, um, but I guess what I can um, show you, while we're talking about the fabric, I guess I can show you guys what I've um, purchased lately, which is a ton of floss. That's why I'm a floss to chew. <laughs> Who did I? Hear that from? I think I heard it, heard that from Bana, from uh, the Twisted Stitcher. But it made me laugh so hard. And I was like, well, I guess I am now officially a flostitute because um, I have actually never worked with um, 
gentle art threads or any fancy flaws. I just use DMC because that's what Mirabilia Patterns calls for. And but because I'm branching out and exploring all the world and stitching all the things, I have discovered the world of floss. So I bought all these to kit my Christmas, um, my other Christmas pattern that I'm gonna be, be working on as well as the one from for my um this one with this project black widows b and b yeah i bought it all i was like holy cow but the good news is that i got it on sale at um the needle the needle craft corner it was very fast shipping too and she had most of these in stock except for a couple of colors that are on back order and so um but i can start on the ones i have now so that is my biggest haul i'm not gonna name you guys all of the ones that it needed but let me tell you kidding up one of these is not cheap so um yeah i'm definitely gonna finish it i do think i like working with um the threads because of the color variations i think it's super fun and so it's been keeping me entertained and um even though i was stitching the roof i was like this is pretty cool because i can see the very the variegated flaws on the uh, as, as i'm stitching it so um so yeah so that is my biggest haul um i did not buy any patterns um from the last time um because i had this like not even a wish list i have a thing on one two three stitch like a cart oh wait there is something else there is something else that i bought that is very important and key to all of these so i bought the paco paco thread organizer to try out i actually don't know if i'm using this right but these are the threads for that um that um praiseworthy uh, stitches um project that I'm working on um so all these so I just kind of did like one strand for now because I don't know how how it's all gonna be or how it's gonna work and so I'm just trying it out testing it out to see if I like it so far it's pretty cool I, I do like it. I just don't like the whole like all of the flaws are just hanging here but eh, it's keeping it together and um it's keeping me a little bit organized. I do like that you can just take the thread as far as um, on here and you don't have to bobbin it again to your little bobbin holder. So I do like that part. Um, so as I was saying about my one, two, three stitch cart that I need to go ahead and make and make the job and purchase. It's just that I'm kind of torn whether I should buy, sorry, I have allergies. If I should buy, another another um, pattern which is the bygone one nation is it it's the one with all of the states and it looks like a flag um because we are a military family um all that patriotic stuff really appeals to me so um i'm thinking about buying it but i'm also torn on what fabric to buy and so I just had it sitting in my cart as well as like 20 packs of the needle, the, my favorite needle. So anyway, I'm kind of looking online to see if I can find inspiration to see if someone else had chosen a completely, not crazy fabric, but just something that I would never otherwise pick, but would look amazing because I'm kind of trying to be a little bit more adventurous when it comes to fabrics. Because normally I just pick whatever is the recommended fabric, which I'm a little boring that way. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so I got two of these um, and so far so good. And yeah, I saw cross stitch with Luda. She uses these and so I was intrigued, but it also requires a ton of needle. So yeah. Um, oh, so I do want to share... Um, I guess something personal, um, eh, personal, personal, not personal, sort of personal. So as y'all know, um, 
we are a military family. We moved here because my husband's um, current job um, has taken us to Oklahoma, which we have never been to Oklahoma. And um, it's our first time and we got here. It was like 114 degrees. It was that hot. I felt bad for my movers. <laughs> um, so, but they um, were in and out of my house and um, it's been like a very big um, week. We, we had our first official week um, being here. Um, and um, I'm just, you know, excited and looking forward to being with my husband again and just being together. Um, anyway, so um, my husband was on the local news. So this is the the Latin Constitution, and he is on the first page. Um, but this is an article about him. There he is right there. Um, but this is the article. Um, this says that he's the um, current garrison commander. He was also in the news, but unfortunately, I didn't see it because we didn't have a DVR. I was homeless at that time. We were still living in a hotel and so there was no way for me to record or DVR or anything. Um, but yeah, so I got all the copies of these things I think that I could find um, for, for keepsake. But anyway, so I'm super proud of him. Um, he's just worked so hard and you know, coming back from a year-long deployment and then this job, it's just been um, very busy for our family but we are also excited for our new adventure. So, but anyway, um, what else? Anything cool? Oh, I do want to share these. Something that I bought for, not for like cost stitching things. Let me tell you, folks. I love this thing. I love it so much. I was like yesterday when I was working on Grimgar, I'm like, man, I really need one of those portable um, sewing with grids so that I could and ruin my mat but yeah it's life-changing and I bought other couple of things from um, Joanne's and Michael's as well as these things just open it this thing you need this in your life if you are into project making project bag making and um, you want to make it um, make it life easy for you this is the trick but anyway so um, that is that I do want to go ahead and I guess we will go ahead and um, pick the winner. So there's only nine people that actually um, commented on what they um, want to, um, what do you call that? Where do you, where do you want to go for vacation or their favorite vacation spot? And so, um, so yeah, so I'm on random randomnumbers.org so I'm just gonna pick one two nine and I will go ahead and click generate number and the winner is number four which is Jill Pepper 5353 I think it's it is not her name, but anyway, um, congratulations. I will go ahead and um, contact you and um, get your information so that I can mail you your pattern. This is a pattern. And um, because I'm extra, I'm sure I'm going to be um, putting other things in your package, not just, not just this. But anyway, this is the shortest video ever. But um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you're having an awesome week. Um, and happy stitching. And I will see you guys in my next video. And I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you all so much for watching as well. And um, i just been so blessed with everybody that had com the comments that um, shared your talents. I mean, honestly, if without Floss Tube, I don't think I could have made the things that I could make and and learn the things that I've learned just from watching people sharing sharing what they love. And so I love that and um, it just warms my heart. But 
Anyway, again, thank you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.